Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So with this video, I'll be showing you a working gift cards to friends glitch. And the first part will be the glitching out. While the second part of the video will be showing you how to get Benny's wheels on the selected vehicle that you have targeted. First of all, you will need to select a target car, but just make sure that the vehicle is not from one of the nightclub special vehicles like the Speedo Custom, or it will get stuck in your MOC. The next thing you will need is an MOC and your MOC needs to have the third bay configured as a personal vehicle storage that is very important. You will also need to have at least one garage at the nightclub and access to the LS car meet. With that being said, the second part of the glitch, which will be transferring Benny's wheels, will not work on consoles. This is only for PC. So I'm going to try to put Benny's wheels on the Baller ST as I think it will look pretty good. And Rockstar is giving away the Baller ST free this week, so I'm not spending much money on that. Do take some time to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more guides like this. Your support will be very much appreciated. Last but not least, you will need a friend. So we're just starting out right here outside the LS car meet. For those of you who are not familiar with this, this will be your first step. And all you need to do here is to head inside. Now once you're inside, just make your way to the test track vehicles. There should be three of them right in the center. And just go up to one of them and press F to test drive and leave it at this menu. Then open up your pause menu and go to the map, expand the map, and then choose a job to teleport to. Once you click on the job, press spacebar to start the job and accept to enter. Press enter again once you're here. So you're going into a job and a test track vehicle at the same time. Now, once you are on the overhead map, what you're gonna wanna do next is to actually quit the job. So it took me about 10 seconds to use the right mouse button to quit the job and then click on accept. If you do this with the correct timing, you will actually spawn at the job location where you will not see any cars or even any NPCs. From here, just make your way to the nearest ammunition and then walk right up to the counter where you buy armor. So at the counter, press E to buy armor, but you don't have to buy anything, just escape. And you will see that the NPCs have come back and so will all the cars. Now what you have to do next is to call in a vehicle from any of your nightclub garages and when it does arrive, what you will have to do is to drive that vehicle back to the same garage that you call it out from. One point to note is that not only can you do this on the nightclub garage, but you can also do the same thing with the arena garage and you will work the same way. So once you are back at your nightclub, just go towards the entrance, hover over the menu for two to three seconds, and then choose to go into the garage you drove it out from. You will experience this flashing screen, just press F and it will drop you back right onto the map. Now once on the map, what you have to do next is to go into interaction menu, go to inventory and then call out your RC Bandito. Now this step is important because it will prevent you from falling through the map later, which will essentially kill the glitch. Now once your RC Bandito is out, just drive it around for a few moments and then press F to exit and your character will spawn back onto the map. You should spawn with your character flashing and that means you're all glitched out. Please note that at no point should you do a job teleport because that will kill the glitch as well. So what you can do is just grab a chopper or you can grab a car and drive to the gift cars to friend spot. So this first part of the video was to show you the glitching out and now you're glitched out. I'll just switch over to my other character and she will show you the rest. So now I'm right here at the gift cards to friends part, which most of you should know already. My friend is also in this session and she will be providing me a Benny's custom vehicle so that I can glitch Benny's wheels on my Baller ST. You can see behind me that I already have my MOC out. So the MOC can be anywhere along this street. It doesn't have to be all the way back there. The reason why we do gift cards to friends with all these vehicles put so close together is just a matter of convenience. So I've got my Baller ST called out as well. And there is my friend with her donor car parked right in front of mine. So with all this in place, we're ready to start the second part of this glitch. Now what you want to do next is to get into your target car and get your friend to go into the passenger seat. Once your friend is in the passenger seat, she should go into the pause menu and stay there while you drive the vehicle all the way to the back of your MOC. 
So you drive the vehicle all the way to the back of the MOC and you approach the blue circle that's located behind, where you will need to press E to enter. Since your friend is still in the pause menu, she will be kicked out, but your vehicle will not go into the MOC. If you have any vehicle alerts, just cancel it. Then your friend will have to stay close by the MOC while you back your car up. Once you are a short distance away, just get out of the car and go to story mode and decline twice. Once that is done, just make your way towards the back of the MOC towards the blue circle again. But this time round, you choose to enter alone. Now what will happen when you choose that is that you will be stuck on a black infinite loading screen. After 3 to 5 seconds, just try to go to story mode again and you reject the alert. After you reject the alert, you will spawn at this location invisible and all you have to do is just to get into your friend's car. You will find yourself spawning in your MOC with your friend's car and at this point in time, your friend should return her car to storage before you actually drive this car out. This is to prevent the game from seeing two same cars with the exact same license plate so that you will be able to change your custom plates later. Now once you're outside, all you need to do is to drive this vehicle to Benny's workshop and select your Benny's wheels. Do know that if you drive this car into LS Customs, you will not be able to get Benny's wheels on them, so you have to go to Benny's. One other thing that may keep happening to you is when you actually approach Benny's Customs, there may be an error message that pops up saying that the vehicle is being modified by another player and you cannot enter the garage. So when that happens, all you have to do is just get out of the car and then return the vehicle to storage and call for it again. So this may happen a few times, but all you have to do is to keep repeating this process of returning the vehicle to storage and calling it back out. And this problem will eventually solve itself and you will be able to enter the garage. So here you can see that I have been rejected twice and I actually have to repeat this for a third time. You probably will encounter a cooldown because you're summoning your vehicle so many times. Just wait out the cooldown timer and then call your vehicle again. Meanwhile, do take some time to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I hope that every one of you who are watching these videos are able to get these glitches up and working on your end. And I would love to hear your feedback as well. If you have any comments, do drop them in the comment section below. And I look forward to hearing from you. So here's my vehicle for the third time. And this time round, I should be able to enter Benny's without any problems. So once you get inside Benny's garage, in order to get Benny's wheels on your target vehicle, all you have to do is just go to the wheel section and change it to the Benny's wheels that you want. So what you can do here is to change the type of rims, the rim color, the custom tire design, as well as bulletproof tires and tire smoke. And once you're finished with that, all you need to do is just to exit the garage and your glitch will be done. Once you're outside the garage, the only thing you have to do right now is to open up your pause menu, go to online and then go to creator mode. And after you are in creator mode, you just have to load back into an online session again. So spawning back into an online session, since your car was your active vehicle, you should see that your car is right beside you or somewhere near and it already has the Benny's wheels that you transferred or purchased. And that is it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.